If you're watching this, then you probably have a crush and you're probably also stuck in this weird like texting situation in them where you guys text a lot but you never know how to start a conversation with them in real life or how to bring that texting conversation into real life. Well, if that's your situation, then this video is totally for you because in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys eight different ways to bring your texting conversation into real life. Hi internet best friends and welcome back to my sleepover. Oh my god, this is the first video that I'm filming in my dorm and it's probably gonna look a little weird because it's always the hardest to film in the new setting. And if you guys are new here on this channel, we talk about a lot of things that are like teenage life related, like how to make more friends, how to be more confident, how to get your cars to like you. And we also do teen movie and teen TV show commentaries. So if you guys are interested in that, consider subscribing after watching this video and without further ado, let's get into this video. I could be a crush, I could so the first thing is kind of you guys use this thing where you guys say like, hey, something really crazy happened to me today, but I don't really have much time to tell you right now. I'll tell you tomorrow when I see you at school or wherever you see your crush. Or if you guys are watching like the same TV show or something like that, you can be like, oh my God, today's episode was so cool, but I don't have time to tell you right now or make up some kind of excuse why you can't exactly like tell them over text or you can be like it's gonna be funnier if i tell you this story in real life so basically you give an initiative for the conversation then you make an excuse why you can't say it over text and then you basically say that you're going to tell them once you see them in real life so you can be like i'll tell you tomorrow when i see you at school or remind me to tell you when i see you tomorrow and that is going to bring your little texting conversation into a real life conversation you're welcome also if if you're liking the video so far give this video a like because it really helps with the algorithm and now on to the second hack so the second hack is to use something that you guys talked about over text in order to have a conversation in real life. If you guys talked about a TV show or a book or just anything that you guys were talking about, it can even be school related, like class related or homework related. You can take that, let's say for instance you were talking about an English class and you had to read like The Great Gatsby for your reading. You can then go up to them when you see them in real life and start talking about The Great Gatsby. So you're pretty much going to be using something that you guys talked about over text to latch on to that and start the conversation IRL from there. The third one I also talked about in my how to start dating your crush step-by-step -step video. So this one is basically to ask the person the outcome of something. Let's say your crush told you that they're having this football game this weekend or they're having a really important presentation tomorrow. You can use that and ask the outcome of that important event when you see them in real life. So for example, if they had a football game and you know about that, after that when you see them at school, you can go up to them and be like, hey, how did your football game go how did that presentation go or basically like the outcome of whatever events that they had even if it's like as simple as like oh they were having a thanksgiving dinner with their parents or something like that and that's what they told you when you guys were texting and then you see them after that at school you can be like how did your dinner with your family go so whatever they mentioned they were going to do you can ask the outcome of that I could be a crush, I could the fourth one is to basically use a common interest that you both have to your advantage. This can be a movie, this can be a sport, and it's not just going up to them and starting a conversation about that common interest. You can do that too, definitely, but what can be even better is if you guys were texting basically about how you both like to play tennis or how you both like this specific TV show, you can be like, hey, would you want to watch that TV show together on Saturday? Or hey, would you want to play tennis this evening? or something like that. Basically taking that common interest and using it as an excuse to do that activity in real life because you both like it. The fifth one is honestly like the easiest way to pretty much like ask your crush out or ask your crush to hang out and it is to kind of be like hey my friends and I are going to do this insert whatever you guys are going 
want to do this weekend would you want to come along with us so if they're also interested in the type of activity that you guys are going to be doing i've used this so many times and it works really well especially when you guys are kind of like anxious about like being one-on-one -on -one with your crush that can kind of help because there are going to be more people there that can kind of like disperse the awkwardness that can be created when you're like super anxious around your crush so basically if you guys are texting and your crush mentions like struggling with a project or struggling with like certain homework or class you can offer to help them out with it so i've done this but like it was where someone was helping me out because they offered to do it i had this like for when i was doing an art class in my senior year the teacher told us to paint on a trash can and i was like so not happy about it but when i was like kind of like complaining about it my friends offered to help me out and we ended up spending a lot of time together after school just like painting the trash can and funny enough it was so fun to do and the trash can turned out looking so freaking gorgeous if your coach mentions that they have to do this like art project that they really don't want to be doing or if they're working on this assignment for the mutual class that you guys have and they're really struggling with it or maybe they even mention like struggling with the class that you're really good at you can offer to help them out in real life like stay after school or meet up or something like that you guys know what's best for you based on your situation and always like remember to consider your situation and tailor the tips that i give you guys to your situation Tip number seven is to use an event that's happening in real life and basically ask them to hang out at that event. So if you guys know that there's a football game that you both are going to, if you guys know that there's a concert that you both might be interested in, you can ask that person if they also want to go to that event and then be like, oh, hope I'll see you there. And once you see them at that event, you can go up and talk to them, maybe start a conversation using one of your interests and maybe even start a conversation about that event that you guys are on right now number eight is basically to say that you're going to show them something when you see them or that they should show you something when they see you so basically if you guys are talking about something and you're like oh my god like i got this really cool new phone yesterday or i got this for christmas or this and that or maybe your crush tells you something like that basically like anything that someone can like show you in person or something that you can show that person in person it can even be maybe something that you guys are both like interested in like maybe you guys are both like collectors of something or maybe you guys are obsessed with a certain tv show and maybe you just got some kind of like merch of that tv show you can be like oh my god i just got blank yesterday you should definitely see it i'm gonna show it to you tomorrow at school or maybe they even say that they got something and you can be like oh my god i definitely want to see it in real life you should definitely show it to me at school tomorrow like obviously if they're going to be bringing that thing if, if they say that they got like a new chair or something don't say that and that's that's basically what I have for you guys in this video. I think that this video is kind of like short, which I'm kind of like sad about, but those were all the ideas that I had. So I hope you guys like this video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.